everybody. Today I wanted to share with you something that I have observed. First let's observe my cat and his stylish new neckwear. Stylish, huh? Hey. I've noticed that when one goes to goth clubs, one observes several rather popular styles of dancing. Obviously not everybody dances in one of these styles, but these are things that I have seen a lot at goth club nights. So obviously this doesn't include things like cyber goth dancing and dancing to EBM and that sort of thing because I don't go to those sorts of club nights. That's a whole different kettle of fish. Normally I go to traditional bat cave, dark wave, 80s sort of nights. So this is just what I have personally observed. I hope you enjoy and maybe learn something. First we have elbows nailed to sides. Next is the most common style of dance I think, I, you see it a lot, and it is the back and forth. Usually three or four steps forward, then three or four steps back, and repeat again and again and again and again and again and again. Then we have the startled chicken, consists of bent limbs, too much alcohol and enthusiasm, and probably drugs too. Another popular move is the mopey two-step, a basic step from side to side while staring at the ground. It's important to show an expression that really reveals a disdain for life. Oftentimes one hand is raised with a cigarette or a glass, probably of red wine or snake bite in black. If in doubt, add more mope. Next is the tree. This is where one emulates the slow poetic swaying of branches of trees and in the wind on a dark romantic autumn night, probably melancholy and dark whimsy. But please don't strip me of my skin or look too long upon that powerful pinnacle soul. A variant of the tree is picking curious fruit, where one appears to be picking fruit, perhaps apples, regarding each one with a sense of curiosity. Oh, look at this apple. Oh, look at that apple. My, look at that one and that one. <laughs> Next is slow motion. This consists of dramatic movements performed at at least half time to the tempo of the song. In the same vein we have almost falling over, but not. Here it is also important for one to look one's most depressed and jaded. And finally we have trying to squash something under the feet that isn't there, where the dancer tries to stamp to death some small invisible creepy crawly. Bonus, here is the ridiculous way in which I dance after a few drinks. I don't know what to call it except the stupid. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it, if anything, informative. So thank you very much for watching and if you have yet to do so please subscribe to my lovely channel and make at least two videos every week. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other and bust a move darkly. Okay, see you next time. Bye!